Assessing the diversity of the T-cell repertoire by spectrotyping. The extent of the diversity of the T-cell repertoire, either generally or during specific immune responses, is often of interest. In particular, as T-cells do not undergo somatic hypermutation and affinity maturation in the same way that B-cells do, the relationship between the repertoire of T-cells making a primary response to antigen and the repertoire of T-cells involved in secondary and subsequent responses to antigen has been difficult to determine. This information has usually been obtained through the laborious process of cloning the T-cells involved in specific responses and the cloning and sequencing of their T-cell receptors. It is possible, however, to estimate the diversity of T-cell responses by making use of the junctional diversity generated when T-cell receptors are created by somatic recombination, a technique known as spectrotyping. Variability in the length of the CDR3 segments is created during the recombination process, both by variation in the exact positions at which the junctions between gene segments occur and by variation in the number of N nucleotides added. Both these processes result in the length of the V beta CDR3 varying by up to nine amino acids. The problem in detecting this variability is that there are 24 families of V beta gene segments in humans and it is not possible to design a single oligonucleotide primer that will anneal to all of these families. Specific oligonucleotide primers can, however, be designed for each family and these can be used in the polymerase chain reaction PCR together with a primer specific for the C beta region to amplify for each individual family a segment of the messenger RNA for the T cell receptor beta chain that spans the CDR3 region. A population of TCR V beta genes will therefore show a distribution or spectrum of CD3 lengths and will give rise to PCR products of different lengths that can be resolved usually by polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. The deletion and addition of nucleotides during the generation of T cell receptors by rearrangement is random. And so, in a normal individual, the CDR3 lengths follow a Gaussian distribution. Deviations from this Gaussian distribution, such as an excess of one particular CDR3 length, indicate the presence of clonal expansions of T cells such as occurs during a T-cell response. And that's assessing the diversity of the T-cell repertoire by spectrotyping.